As those of you who have uh, followed, however briefly, hitting the books, you know I am a big Doris Kearns Goodwin fan. I think she's one of the great historians of our time, one of the great historical writers of our time, does tremendous research, writes in a very readable manner, including a lot of factual history. Uh, I like what she does. And this book, I think, is one of the best. I mean, this is about leadership in times of turmoil. And she picks on four particular presidents to talk about and to examine behind the scenes, one of whom, Lyndon Baines Johnson, she worked for and she knew a lot about what was going on behind the scenes and the turmoil he had with the Vietnam War and how that overshadowed so much positive legislation that he really drove through Congress, especially in terms of civil rights. And then you have, uh, you have FDR coming in, Depression, World War II, uh, becoming one of the most beloved presidents we have because he became one of the most trusted presidents and one of those who learned how to use the media, the radio, with uh, his talks, his fireside chats that became a very big part of his administration. A look at how he did that and what he was doing and why he thought the way he did then you got Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt who came into office because of an assassination and how he handled that and how later in his life he tried to go through a third party to get the presidency back. Why he did that. Uh, what lessons he learned and he left for those who try and take that route when it comes to becoming president of the United States. And then there's Abraham Lincoln. And uh, in, in her writing about Lincoln, really sets him apart as somebody who was so extraordinary as to be even removed from those we've just mentioned. That his presidency was based on a past that no one could have predicted would have resulted in the excellence that he brought to the office. For this young backwoods lawyer, self-trained, self-taught, there really was nothing there that indicated he was ever going to be able to handle what he had to handle which was, of course, the Civil War. How he got through that, what he thought about that, what went on behind the scenes, how he was able to lead a nation that was divided in those times. Those are the things she talks about in this book. It's a wonderful historical presentation of four presidents in times of turmoil and trouble and how they got through them.